Hey everyone, I'm Chad. Welcome to Infinity Flies. So today we're going to tie up um, my version of a stonefly. One of my versions of a stonefly. Haven't really uh, came up with a name for it yet, but maybe if you guys have an idea, you can drop it down in the comments. So here we go. Uh, it's a size size 12 streamer hook, must add, with a 1 8 gold bead. We're using uh, black black uni thread, six aught. So I'm going to start here with the horns. using rusty brown goose biots. So I'm gonna go in, peel four of these off. So I'm going to take the two and I'm going to I'm going to set them up opposite to one another. So one's cupped up, one's cupped down. Just really helps I feel give it a better better look. Kind of get it on there with nice one or two nice wraps and then just tweak it to your liking. Trim those ends off. A little bit finish. And a little bit of UV resin. I'm using the the flow. I really like it for for a head cement. Slide that forward. Now, if you wanted this to be weighted really well. Uh, we could add some lead, but I'm not going to today. Oh. Shit happens. So I'm going to show you guys a quick way. You just double that up, spin it up, and if you're lucky... Get that in there. I mean, you can spend the whatever it is, $10 for a bobbin threading tool. But I've always, I've always just preferred to save a little money and just do it the old school way, I guess. So I'm going to wrap all the way to the back, finish off basically kind of where the, where the barb is. So again, I'm going to offset those for the tails. Just 
do one little tight wrap and then again adjust as it takes a little bit So I'm going to wrap those all the way forward. And trim. So for the body, I'm using uh, virtual nymph skin. This is the dark brown. So what I've done, I don't know if you can see it or not, but I used a permanent marker to paint the side of uh, the sheet here black. So you're going to cut that on a 45 to 30 degree angle. Tie that in there on the tip. Make sure you bite down pretty good. I'm going to start wrapping forward, kind of overlapping about 50%. Of my previous wrap. And tie it off. Work my way back a bit here. Uh, right about there. So for my dubbing, I'm using Here's Your Plus in black. Just gonna do it a little loose. I want to be able to get a little bit of body out of it. And there's pretty good. That on. So for the wing casing, I'm using a molted oak thin skin. I believe this is just black but there's a good very numbered of colors you know, brown or yellow so what I did is I cut out some chunks and then I formed them into sort of a wing like shape with the little tag, so that's where I'm going to tie in on the on that skinny section there.
I'm gonna add a little bit more behind. And this is where I'm going to add in my legs. So I'm using uh, silly legs. It says this is amber, but I don't. I think it's more golden than amber. Length of the legs are obviously up to you. I like to have them not too long. That way in the water they kind of keep their profile. If you make them really long, then they're just gonna end up like dragging back. But if that's the look that you're going for, then, then give her. dubbing here. Might have to kind of manipulate manipulate the legs as you start getting some wraps in. And then come forward. And I've got one more wing case. just a little bit more dubbing in behind that wing to kind of like pop it forward finish off in front of the legs and a couple whip finish Again, I just always like to do it the old school way. I saw this way back, this is a long time ago, from this old guy. Can't even remember what his name was. But I saw him doing that and I was like, well, 
why why buy a whip finisher if I can just do it by hand? Just gonna add Add some UV glue. There you go. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time. Cheers.